Hey everybody, it's Randy with Low Buck LS here again, and today I'm going to show you what is in this box and explain to you why I bought what is in this box. First, I got to confess that I stole the idea for this what's in the box concept from another channel, and that's why I've got to give credit where credit is due. That's why I'm wearing my uh, Bull City Speed shirt from Rye with uh, Bull City Speed. And this shirt's probably a collector's item because now he's under the uh, the clapped out umbrella. He joined forces with Logan over there. So wanted to give those guys a shout out. Uh, if you like my channel, you're going to love their channel. Rise got a truck, uh, Silverado Turbo 2000, similar to mine, except his is a 4x4. And he also happens to have like an 8 second uh, car that he uh, took on Drag Week and a bagged square body. And he's working on another uh, car for a, a blue Mustang for a buddy with a six liter that's going to be like a half mile car. So got a lot of cool stuff and uh, he's teamed up with Logan over there at Clapped Out. And Logan's got like a stick shift uh, LS swap RX-7 that's super fast. So um, go give their channel a, a watch and uh, I'll put a link to it in the uh, description below. But now I'll flip the camera around and uh, let's have a look at what's in this box. Okay, let's get this box opened up and see what I've got here. It is hooker cast manifold. So I'll put it down on the bench here and then uh, I'll just talk about uh, why I decided to go this route and abandon my homemade log manifold. So here's that uh, cast manifold out of, out of the box on the bench. Uh, this is the Hooker 8512 HKR, and that's the part number for just the passenger side manifold for uh, bolting a turbo onto your LS engine. Um, you can also get it as a set with the driver side manifold, and that is uh, 8510 HKR is the part number. I bought it from Summit Racing. I think it was two hundred and sixty-nine dollars. Uh, and there, there's a couple of reasons I wanted this uh, manifold. Um, if you followed my earlier videos, um, you know I built a homemade log manifold. But the problem is when I welded the what would have been this part to the the flanges of the log manifold. I didn't have the flange bolted to anything, so the heat from finish welding that warped this uh, flange on my log manifold. So um, that's causing some exhaust leaks. And uh, I also don't really like the sound of the manifold I, I made. And I've got a theory that I think this will sound better because this is divided all the way up through to here. So I feel like that's going to sound better so for now i've just bought the passenger side manifold i'm going to save up another couple weeks and then buy the driver side manifold and the crossover pipe but um just wanted to do i'll kind of do a poor man's powerpoint here uh, i've got some thoughts written down on some sheets of paper here um comparing the uh the homemade log manifold and this uh hooker 8512 hkr cast manifold Okay, first let's talk about the uh, homemade log manifold. I kind of made a list of pros and cons here. So, pros are it's uh, let me find my pen here. Pros are it's it's cheap, and you can keep the air conditioning. Now the cons are the exhaust leaks, and that's probably more due to my poor uh, fabrication skills than anything else. Um, I could redo it, but I actually, I think this, buying this cast manifold is a better value. Um, it doesn't sound good because of the exhaust leaks, and I think because of the way that um, driver's side bank comes around in the crossover, I think this manifold is going to have a better sound just because it's divided all the way down through there. Eh? Um, another con is I had to notch it to clear the uh, air conditioning compressor. And I think that notch might cause uh, a restriction and hurt the performance. And the other downside is uh, it looks kind of homemade. So now let's talk about this hooker manifold. 
pros are it should sound better because uh, the flanges are straight and uh, the uh, fabrication is better quality. I think it'll perform better because it won't have that restriction because of uh, the notch in my homemade manifold um, to clear the air conditioning compressor and it looks better like that's just a nicer looking uh, piece to to see under the hood and even though I'm trying to do this truck cheap I still want to be proud of it like it, when I take it to a local cruise night you know I want to have some pride when I open up the hood and uh you know, even the way it sounds when I when I pull into the parking lot, I uh, want people to turn their heads in a good way, not in a bad way. Because right now, the way it sounds, um, it's not all that attractive. Um, the only downsides to this hooker manifold are the price. Um, it's more, I think, yeah, my uh, log manifold parts were less than 150 bucks. So if you're comparing material only um the the log manifold is cheaper but if you consider the amount of time i've put into it like that log manifold i've probably i think i had four or five nights at three to four hours each so even if you only value your time at 20 bucks an hour which i feel like i'm worth more than that um you're still looking at a couple hundred three four hundred dollars worth of uh worth of labor um, and the other con to this uh, hooker manifold is I need to get rid of the AC, but I guess that's kind of a price I'm willing to pay. So I think at the point I'm at uh, right now on my project, things are getting busier at work. And, uh, you know, I, I could, you know, probably build a second log manifold and do a better job of it. But right now I'm short of time and I think this is the best uh, option for me to go. So that's why I bought it. Um, well, I think I mentioned this earlier, but you can um, buy both manifolds as a set if you order the uh, 8510HKR part number. Um, I think that was 449 bucks or something like that. But I am choosing, I'm still gonna buy that uh, um, driver side manifold and the crossover pipe, but I've gotta save up a couple more weeks, so. Uh, I'll buy that in a paycheck or two. So um, let me just flip the camera around here. So I guess my conclusion is uh, on the uh, homemade log manifold versus the hooker cast manifold. If all you're worried about is price, the uh, homemade manifold is still the cheapest way to go. And, uh, but I guess that's uh, one thing. One other thing I want to talk about is, um, Doing it the cheapest way possible isn't always the best value. Like, um, I think when you're looking at a part like that, you got to ask yourself, um, okay, yes, it's super cheap, but will it do what I want it to do um, for that price? Like, and the answer for my homemade manifold is no, even though it's super cheap and the cheapest way of doing it, I didn't like how it sounded. I don't think it's going to perform as good as this one um, so even though it's the cheapest option it wasn't uh, wasn't going to perform the way I wanted it to and so that's how I'm going to um, address the, the decapped injector thing too like basically it'll be a test uh, that's the cheapest way of getting bigger injectors but uh, the jury's still out I'll have to see um, if they'll perform, if, if they'll do what I want them to do. And if they will, that's great. If not, I'll have to spend a little more money and uh, get something that uh, performs the way I want it to. So um, that's kind of what I wanted to end on. Uh, the cheapest way of doing things isn't always the best value. And uh, so uh, that's it for this week. Um, stay tuned. I'm going to be in the shop again all week here working on uh, my... Uh, injector test stand for testing those decapped injectors. Um, one other thing I forgot to mention is this manifold comes with uh, V-band. Um, so yeah, that's all for this week. Stay tuned. Next week again, uh, 7 o'clock Mountain Standard Time on Tuesday night, we'll have another video for you. So thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, and we'll talk to you next week.